Hello and welcome to these Battlegrounds, I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the next member of the Arashikage clan, Kim Jinx Arashikage. So, everyone knows her as Jinx, obviously she's Kim, cousin to Storm Shadow, um, and she's had a, a wild history with uh, the G.I. Joe team, showing up in the 1987 movie, then kind of disappearing from the cartoon realm after that, uh, showing up in Retaliation, and then... Um, yeah, she wasn't even in uh, Snake Eyes Origins because they had a, a character named Akiko instead. I don't understand why, but, you know. She was in Renegades for a while. She was uh, a bratty little, I guess, like, teenager. Um, but that's basically it. So we got the classified figure here. Um, we'll definitely look at some other other ninja and Arashikage clan members. But diving into Jinx, we got she's going to be number 124 in the line. We got that minimalist, boring packaging. G.I. Joe, Kim, Jinx, Arashikage. QR code. I feel like I asked years ago about that, and then Emily gave me that answer saying, oh, they're working on it. Um, we got bladed weapons, infiltration, the throwing star one, and the key and sword one. We got some nice artwork on the side there. 124. In the back, we get that uh, training room. We see her her and Beachhead go at it. We got a close-up of the blindfold and then a close-up of the tattoo. Getting into the accessories, we got the traditional OG figures, uh, Naginata. And it's got a good, some good colors. Silver blades. I, for some reason, I thought there was, like, ones coming out of the side, so it was, like, four. But I guess I just never really... I don't have any Jinx figures, so I, I can't compare it or even know. I don't think I've ever even had any Jinx figures. I'm trying to think of... Uh, I think the Tiger Force Jinx was the closest to my era. So, it's got black staff, got some brown grips, silver blades. And it's, it's pretty solid. It doesn't feel too bad. We got a sword, and it looks like the same sheath as the... Uh, Dawn's Light, Morning's Light, Dawn's Edge, whatever the hell it is. Um, and then this uh, this silver looks really cheap. Looks not silvery at all. <laughs> it just looks like a flat. It looks plastic. Um, and then we got the brown brown grip. And then it looks like this is a different color. But that might just be because of the, uh, the way the light's hitting off the uh, brown grip. I mean, it's a decent sheath, but it's just, there's some sculpting in there. I think it was like yellow paint for the uh, Snake Eyes Origins. We get her blindfold, which we'll see here in a second. It feels pretty stretchy. Doesn't feel too bad. Hopefully it doesn't break right away. We get an alternate head sculpt. Try to get these. Uh... That paint looks good. We get two fists on the figure itself, and then we get two taped up trigger hands. Looking at the figure herself, we got a very tall forehead. But the face sculpt doesn't look too bad. Some slick back hair, short hair. We got like a 90s choker going on. This sculpt looks pretty good. Going to the tattoo, we got some different colors, some floral patterns. We got some pink in there. It doesn't hit the elbow. I know someone's going to complain and be like, oh, it does. But I know a lot of people that don't have their elbow tattooed, when, like tattooed around their elbow. So um, it's not uncommon. It's definitely not worth uh, crying about over toys. Got a little snake logo, dragon logo right there. In her ninja pajamas. And then the... I don't... There's no movement. I feel like I'm going to pop the figure apart. We can go back. But there's no forward movement. Uh, and I feel like this piece doesn't go up or down, so... Double jo jointed pinless elbows. Getting that much out of it. Working our way down. Got the thigh cut. 
drop down hips, kind of, maybe. So, double jointed pinless knees. I'm getting that much out of it. There's a shin cut, boot cut, whatever you want to call it. And then we got some foot movement. So going back to that blindfold, see if we can work it on real quick. I was kind of concerned it was going to roll, but it didn't. But it fits. Pretty snug, it's not loose. Eh, it's a little, maybe in the ears, depending on where you line it up at. So you got that. Switch over to the uh, other head real quick. I wonder if it'll fit on that. And then real quick, just uh, watch this 90s, 90s choker piece. It feels like it's uh, also that elastic material, but if you pop the head off and you aren't paying attention, the thing's going to go flying. So, And there she is masked up. I know the uh, OG look had the, the full sleeves and not the cut sleeves. So I'm curious to what we'll see moving forward. I wonder if we'll get a new a new Vipra out of all this. The Cobra Courier. <laughs> this this look might not be it. I I had, I had better hopes for this. <laughs> We're looking like the uh, was it the Dead Game Snake Eyes? But uh, that. That look, that's not it. I, I had better, better thoughts in my mind for that. But if you wanted to rock that look, you, you can. So sliding Kim back. We'll go with her cousin Tommy. Snake Eyes, the master. It's going to be zero, 00 Snake Eyes. And then if you guys are following the um, spoiler alert, so fast forward uh, probably to the end. Um, if you guys are following the Scarlet comics, we got Scarlet right here too. And then of course we got Throwdown. And then if you have the Master of Disguise, Zartan, obviously you got the Blind Master and all of them. So I'm really curious to see who will... Uh, get moving forward and um, if we'll see any of the uh, the masters or we're just gonna see just different iterations of other characters um, what ninjas do you guys want to see in the line I don't really have any off the top of my head I'd like to see um, Kamakura was my my ninja because I was the uh, a Valley vs. Venom Spy Troops Joe vs. Cobra um, a real American hero collection was my my GI Joe era, so I'm a, I'm on the younger side of things. And uh, Ninja Force was definitely a thing of the past, but um, I had a nunchuck, but he didn't look like this, that's for sure. And then of course we got Night Creeper from the same wave. So a lot of a lot of ninjas moving around. Curious to what we're gonna see moving forward, but. Did you guys pick up Jinx? What look are you guys going with her? Are you guys going to wait for the retro card with the sleeves? Um, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.